we moved to Medicare for all, and they come right back to fucking Warren. <laughs> I was watching that, man, and I was just like, oh, jeez, really? Like, you're just going to give her more time. All right. Uh, you know, she kind of talked about some of the same shit, dropping, uh, you know, making sure that there's no more price gouging. Um and she said that she we, we need to protect uh, the Affordable Care Act from Trump, but really we should also be protecting it from what Obama's legacy with that was too, is because he didn't actually get what he wanted uh, done, and he kind of presented it as this uh, you know middle middle of the middle ground like great uh, healthcare initiative that it that it really kind of wasn't. Um, so, uh, and. They went to they went to fucking Elizabeth Warren first, and then they were like, "Oh yeah, Bernie, you talk about this in your thing." <laughs> it's like, why the fuck did we start with Bernie, right? As Bernie says, "I wrote the damn bill. I wrote the damn bill," <laughs> and he fucking says that. And he's like, he put, yeah, dude, like, he wrote the Medicare for All bill. bill. Like, him and John Paul wrote the Medicare for All bill. Like, why the fuck? Why didn't you go to this dude first? <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's so ridiculous. They, they, like, they were just like, let's go to, let's go to the person that we really, that, like, it's going to say some stuff, but isn't going to really say Medicare for All. And that, like, we should get rid of the, like, private insurance companies should not be in charge of the healthcare system. The reason why they fucking didn't is uh, because the DNC wants Warren. They want they want Elizabeth Warren. They want Elizabeth Warren so that they siphon votes away from Bernie, right? They're kind of presenting Elizabeth Warren as this progressive, nicey nice person that has all these fun things like she's a lady and she's soft spoken. They go, oh, Bernie's such an old man. It's like fucking Elizabeth Warren is 71. What the fuck are you talking about? She's not that much old, like younger than Bernie Sanders. So Bernie points out that Medicare for all is something that we should we should be we should be pushing for. Because uh, it's something that has been talked about in uh, in this, uh, the the American political stage uh, for like sixty years. FDR started talking about it. JFK was talking about it, and even Obama talked about it. Right? It's kind of what his original I think his original plan was. Um, and then Biden goes, uh, "Oh, we can't afford it." Oh, it's thirty trillion dollars. Well, the current system is fifty-two trillion. So, once again, we have to teach you how math works, Grandpa Biden. You got to be like, no, no, no. We're we're saving twenty trillion. We're saving twenty trillion. It's actually a cheaper fucking plan. And he goes, it won't pass. Why won't it pass? Because Democrats are Republicans. Biden, Biden basically goes, oh, even the Democrats that are in, in the, uh, uh, the, the House and the Senate are not going to pass this bill. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. And it's, yeah, it's because the, because the corporate Democrats that are, uh, that, that are in, in power in, in, in the Senate, you know, uh, they are uh, basically the same thing as Republicans. That's it. That, that's basically what you just said there. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Haha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. 
Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content that was discussed and the, and the type of humor that you saw in this video, then you probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I've got live shows coming up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Columbia, South Carolina, New York City, Philadelphia. I'm going to be on tour uh, in, in a whole bunch of places uh, at the end of 2019 and into 2020. Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com for my entire tour schedule. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Check out my entire tour schedule, get your tickets there, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks again.